hello hello guys welcome back to my channel so our next video is from thomas Zowell tv and it says why they keep making black people look like losers ah let's check this video out it is a good reflection on americans that they tend to be on the side of the underdog but it is often hard to tell who is in fact the underdog or why Many years ago, there was a big, lumbering catcher named Ernie Lombardi, whose slowness of foot was legendary. Someone once said that not only was Ernie Lombardi the slowest man who ever played Major League Baseball, whoever was the second slowest was probably a lot faster runner than Ernie Lombardi. When Ernie Lombardi came to bat, infielders played back on the outfield grass. That gave them more range in getting to balls that Lombardi hit. They could snare line drives that would otherwise be base hits. With ground balls, they could easily throw to first base from the outfield grass and get the slow-moving Lombardi out. Despite all that, Ernie Lombardi had a lifetime batting average of 306 and even led the league in batting a couple of years. But many people said that if Lombardi had had just average speed, he could have been a 400 hitter. One day, as a teenager sitting in the polo grounds, the stadium where the then New York Giants played, I was privileged to watch a historic event. Ernie Lombardi laid down a bunt. The crowd went wild. The play took forever, with Lombardi laboriously clumping down to first base, running as hard as he could, but still not very fast, while the third baseman made a long run in from left field to get to the bunt. We cheered ourselves hoarse, rooting for Big Ernie, as he doggedly but slowly made his way down the first baseline. He barely beat the throw, which set off another explosion of cheers. We were not just cheering for a hometown player. We were rooting for Lombardi to get revenge on those who had taken advantage of him for so long. We were cheering for the underdog. But was Lombardi really an underdog? How many players end up their careers with a lifetime batting average over 300 or with two batting titles? Like most of us, Lombardi was handicapped in some ways and privileged in others. Many people would consider it a handicap to be a black orphan born in the Jim Crow South during the Great Depression of the 1930s. But the home into which I was adopted had four adults, and I was the only child. Many years later, when I was a parent and asked one of the surviving members of that family how old I was when I started walking, she said, Oh, Tommy, nobody knows when you could walk. Somebody was always carrying you. You can't buy that. A leading historian of education has said that the New York City public schools were the best in the country during the 1940s. That was when I went to school there. You can't buy that either. Today, the classes are smaller, the buildings more modern, but the education itself is a disaster. I got the kind of education that people have to go to expensive private schools to get today. Perhaps more important, nobody told me that I couldn't make it because I was poor and black, or that I ought to hate white. Again, guys, black or white or in between, you can, you can, you can overcome anything in America. I'm telling you, see whether you are black, white. Hispanic or Asian, whatever you are in between, you can make it there in America if you put your mind in it. You like you can overcome all the challenges, anything in America, I'm telling you. White folks were mean. He burned my bridges behind me, the way they used to do with armies going into battle, so that they had no place to retreat to, and so had to fight to win. One of the problems with trying to help underdogs, especially with government programs, is that they and everyone else start to think of them as underdogs, focusing on their problems rather than their opportunities. Thinking of themselves as underdogs can also dissipate their energies in resentment of others, rather than spending that energy making the most of their own possibilities. It must have been discouraging for Ernie Lombardi, especially in his early years, to be repeatedly thrown out at first base on balls that would have been base hits for anybody else. But he couldn't let himself dwell on that, not and win two batting titles. Guys, see, you can be handicapped in some ways and privileged in others. What did I need? That is pretty more someone's um, 
human nature. We all have our uh, weaknesses, that is a uh, handicap, and then uh, strength, that is a uh, privilege. There is no way around it. We must stop fooling ourselves into, into thinking that skin color is skin color is what defines our talent or or skin color is, is or is because of skin color is it, it, it stops us from doing what we want from doing what we love no nobody should tell you that see irrespective of your skin color irrespective of anything about you your race your culture whatever will be will be if you want to do this you try for that you go you you go for it don't 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 make yourself look like the victim because you are not you are not the victim. See, SLS is to be is to be strive for to get that that actual best, and it's achievable, very very achievable. If you put your mind to it, like if you put everything behind you, if like guys, see, it's very very annoying when people tell the kids they cannot succeed. Why are you are you are you the achieve? Are you are you their good? Are you their guiding angel? Are you then? Is are you are you are you their speaker or spokesman? It's a lie. However, it's it does take all the pressure of school. Like you now make them look as if they can't go to school or they cannot sit with the whites because of ah like because of unnecessary necessary uh, 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 unnecessary excuses like. When we want to teach our child, we teach them to strive for value and and, and not seek for for validation. Their highest qualities, guys, it shall shall be revealed, and adversity can bring can bring out all the best in them. Yes, same goes to you. So stop bringing yourself down. Like, if you want to do something, you do it. Don't, don't feel oppressed. You are not the victim. And you can never be the victim, but you are trying to make yourself the victim. Why? Why is like? Why is it like that? Oh, thanks for Tomosobe who is making us making our eyes to see things to be able to understand some kind of things that we are unable to understand. Thanks to Tomosobe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, watch, and subscribe to my channel, and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye bye.